So welcome back everyone, Triple M here. Today I got a cool accessory to show you and the reason I bought this uh, keyboard is because I got the Nvidia Shield. This is the 2019 Shield. Of course this is the round one, doesn't have a USB port. And in order to get a keyboard on here, you'll need to use uh, something with a Bluetooth connection. So I was searching the internet and this one seemed pretty cool. So this is not a sponsored review guys. I did go ahead and purchase this. This is a foldable keyboard and this is from Jellycomb. So free promotion for jelly combs. So this is foldable, of course, uh, it connects via Bluetooth or you can wire it in. So it does have a USB port on here and it just seems like a cool design and it is compatible with your iOS windows as well as your Android. And last but not least, this does have a built-in battery. Uh, it doesn't specify how large the battery is, but with a two hour charge, you will get a full capacity and gives you about 560 hours of standby time. So essentially you can charge this once and it will last the lifetime of the device. That's the way I take it anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's in the box. All right, so put that to the side for now. User's manual, guys, so tells you the LEDs, num lock, multi-key function, as well as the different ports on the device. Also comes with a USB cord. This is micro USB, of course, and that's for your charging or if you want to wire it up to your device. All right, so here we are, guys. So uh, three different colors is available for this. So it comes in silver, black, or white. Uh, costs about $30, $32. I'll put Amazon links in the description. But on the back, this is where it folds out. You can see it has some rubber legs, so that should keep it nice and stable if you have it on a flat surface. All right, this kind of flimsy, kind of folds back a little bit, but of course it's meant for a flat surface like this, but once it's on the surface, guys, it's actually pretty comfortable. Trackpads right here, you have your right click, left click, caps lock, Bluetooth, as well as your battery indicator. On the top, on off, you have your Bluetooth pairing button and your USB port to charge it or to wire it in to your device. Do have the shield fired up, but important to know guys that with the function, you do have a lot of different options. So if you hit the function, plus you do have the iOS mode, Android, you also have home, search, look like we have copy, paste, cut, do have your volume up, volume down, lock, delete, and below you have your home, page up, page down. So that's basically all the functions for this keyboard. So let's go ahead and we're gonna power it on. So it is a solid blue right now. Now it's uh, kind of just waiting for you to pair. So in order to hit pairing mode, you wanna go ahead and hit this button on the side. So the Bluetooth button right here. So let's go ahead and hit that. All right, so now it is flashing. So now we're gonna go over to the Nvidia Shield. All right, so on the Nvidia Shield, we're gonna go up to our settings. I'm gonna go down to our remotes and accessories. We're gonna add a Bluetooth accessory. So there it is right there, Bluetooth 3.0 keyboard. Go ahead and hit okay. And that's it guys, look like we're paired. So everything seems to work pretty well guys, you can see um, movement is pretty fluid. If you do two fingers, scroll up, you can kind of just scroll all the way up and down on the actual screen. So let's go ahead and we're going to launch YouTube. My prescriptions used to. All right, that is a wonderful ad. Let's go back. And you can go home by hitting the function and the home button. Let's go ahead and we're going to launch Google Chrome. www.yahoo.com So it works really well. Scroll up and down. Do a right click. All right, so right click brings up the options. Left click, of course, will click on the actual uh, video or whatever it is. Let's go back. Now, one thing that actually works, which I'm pretty surprised that this works, if you hit the function in the search, it actually brings up the Google Assistant. So. I'm gonna click allow. And let's go ahead and try it again. Brings up the voice function, however, doesn't search because this does not have a built-in microphone, which makes sense. Hit the command key, 
see what happens. So command actually brings up the search so you can go ahead and start typing as well. This is a great buy in my opinion. This is um, one of those things that is nice to have. It essentially fits in the palm of your hands. Can go ahead and put in your pocket. Good to take on the road with you, especially if you own an NVIDIA Shield that does not have a USB port uh, where you can go ahead and plug in a dongle for a keyboard. So definitely want to hear your thoughts on this one, guys. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know if this is something that you think you'll purchase. This is a foldable keyboard. And once again, this is from Jellycomb. That's it for this video. Hit the thumbs up on this video. Share this video if you think it might be helpful to someone. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.